friends hope you are doing well today we will talk about period of communicability first i will tell you why i have made this video i have made this video because i have found that medical student paramedical or nursing student they are finding it very difficult to mug up all those complex period of communicability for important infectious diseases remember the period of communicability applies only to the infectious diseases it has nothing to do with the non communicable diseases which cannot be transmitted from one person to other person so let's start the period of communicability uh, before i start i want to give you a trick how you remember this period of communicability do you want to know that trick no i will not explain it right now i will explain that trick in the end of the video so let's start what is the period of communicability i'm dr anuradha chauhan what is the period of communicability that means the period for which a infectious disease can be transmitted from the case to another healthy person okay the period of communicability for the chicken pox is you have to tell it is the comment section below i will wait for few seconds you can be right also you can be wrong also it doesn't matter for me okay yes you are right the period of communicability for the chicken pox is two day before the rash appear till four days after rash disappear remember two day and four day chicken pox two day and four day remember two day and four day okay i will give you the trick in the last how you remember the uh, remember these period that is for, just for now it you remember two day and four day chicken pox two day and four day okay move next to next disease what is the period of communicability for dpt that is diphtheria pertussis and tetanus write in the comment section below i will wait for 2 3 seconds few seconds i will wait okay you can be right also or wrong also yes you are right i will tell now the dpt the period of communicability is four week for diphtheria after disease onset the case can transmit the diphtheria till four week after the disease onset for pertussis the period of communicability is seven days after the exposure the period of communicability starts uh, after seven days after exposure yes and it last four week after the paroxysmal stage it last four week for four week after the paroxysmal stage okay paroxysmal stage finish hone ke four week tak period of communicability rehta hai aur ye start kab hota hai exposure ke seven days ke baad aur paroxysmal stage ke four week and the hone tak pertussis can be transmitted it can be communicated from case to another healthy person for tetanus there is no period of communicability for tetanus there is no period of communicability remember why there is no period of communicability for tetanus you have to tell me i will not tell everything i will not spoon feed you okay you have to tell me in the comment section below i will give you a heart sign for those who are correct okay for tetanus there is no period of communicability it can be transmitted only via the infected soil or the infected surface only theek hai case se kabhi bhi normal person ko tetanus ke transmission hone ke chances nahi hote hain okay now move next now measles mumps and rubella i will wait for you to write the answer yes you are right four measles this is four day before the rash and after four days after the rash four months four day before the symptoms appear and seven day after symptom disappear four rubella this is seven days before the rash seven days after the rash seven days seven days seven days okay 7 days 7 days 7 days measles mumps and rubella and 4 uh, day 4 day and 4 day theek hai aap isko aise yaad rakhiye measles mumps and rubella measles ki starting hoti hai 4 4 aur mumps 4 7 and rubella 7 and 7 theek hai so let's now move move next what is the period of communicability for hepatitis a and b inme se kaun sa zyada serious hai pehle aap mujhe ye bhi batana isme serious kaun sa zyada disease hoti hai that is hepatitis b yes to uska period of communicability bhi usi se linked hai 
ओके पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी इसकी सीरियसनेस से लिंक्ड है पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी फॉर हेपेटाइटिस ए इज टू वीक बिफोर द जॉन्डिस अपीयर अप टू वन वीक आफ्टर जॉन्डिस डिस अपीयर्स ओके टू वीक बिफोर जॉन्डिस अपीयर्स एंड अप टू वन वीक आफ्टर जॉन्डिस डिस अपीयर्स एंड फॉर हेपेटाइटिस बी एज इट इज मोर सीरियस तो इसका जो है कम्युनिकेबिलिटी भी उसी से लिंक्ड है इसका मतलब है कि हेपेटाइटिस बी के एंटीबॉडी जब तक बॉडी में नहीं आ जाते तब तक वो उसको ट्रांसमिट कर सकता है तब तक उसका पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी रहता है हेपेटाइटिस बी के एंटीजन अनटिल अनलेस एच बी एस एंटीजन डिसअपियर एंड एंटीबॉडीज अपियर इन योर ब्लड इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द केस कैन ट्रांसमिटेड टू अदर हेल्दी पर्सन ठीक है पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी अनटिल एंटीबॉडी अपियर and until antigen disappear from blood. Okay, hepatitis A जो कि ओरोफिकल रूट से ट्रांसमिट होता है उसका जो पीरियड ऑफ कम्युनिकेबिलिटी है जॉन्डिस से लिंक है टू वीक बिफोर जॉन्डिस वन वीक आफ्टर जॉन्डिस ओके नाउ मूव नेक्स्ट दिस इज रिपीटेशन ऑफ द स्लाइड लेट्स नाउ स्टार्ट फॉर टी बी एंड मैनिंगो कैप्स कॉक्सीमिया येस राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई विल वेट फॉर फ्यू सेकेंड्स Yes, you are right for TB until it is treated. Until it is treated and you have completed your dots regime and you are and doctor is confirmed that you TB is treated from your body. Until that is confirmed, the case of TB can transmit the infection to other healthy person. Similarly, in men meningo capsimia, until it is absent from your nasal or throat discharge it can be transmitted from case to another person that is why i have put both these diseases together kyunki inka jo transmission hai or period of communicability hai wo almost same same hai until tb is treated and until meningococcemia is absent from the nasal discharge they can be transmitted from co case to uh, another person okay so this is the end of the slide now i will finish if you like the video then you put a thumbs up and share it with your medical other uh, friends medical students and uh, subscribe my channel also for further updates thank you now i want to tell you those tricks have you seen in my slides that there is certain resemblance in numbers and uh, certain resemblance uh in the way in which i have presented it to you just you remember first trick is that you have to remember that period of communicability either it is in the days or it is in the uh, weeks usually period of communicability doesn't last in month until that there is a uh, carrier stage in uh, which is belonging to that particular disease okay either it is in days or it is in week and also there is one more similarity that i have uh, tried to uh, put certain similar values like either it is 2 days or 7 days i have not made it like 21 days 22 days 23 days or 14 days i have not kept it those values only either it is 2 days 4 days 7 days uh, in which i have Uh, put those values so uh, the diseases which i have mentioned they are very 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 important for exam point of views and uh, i think uh, now after watching this video you will never ever forget the period of communicability for these important diseases thank you